The Hydra A monster killed by Heracles as the second of his twelve labors is a serpentine water monster in ancient mythology whose lair was rumored to be an entrance to the underworld. Hydra, a creature that must be killed on sight, is a small freshwater organism that attaches itself to hard surfaces in our aquariums and will murder your baby shrimps. Go away! Subscribe to my channel. <clears throat> Welcome back to Bob Moss Nano Tanks. Today, my troubles are gonna be your benefit. I'm going to kill myself and it's your fault! So last night, the day before filming this, this is actually uploaded a couple weeks after I filmed it, just so you know, I noticed Hydra in one of my tanks, in the Sanctuary Call tank to be specific. I checked all the other tanks very, very thoroughly just to make sure, because I do share nets and tools and stuff between the tanks, I'm bad for that. So I just want, I made sure Hydra's not in the other tanks. So today I'm going to show you how to identify Hydra and discuss how to get rid of it. So I hope you enjoy. First things first, I have no idea how this Hydra actually got in the tank. I haven't gotten new plants. The new shrimp and snails have gone in the uh, hidden cavern tank above. So the fact that there's Hydra in here is really confusing to me. The one thing I did do is I put in this old submersible light that I had lying around just to add some extra light so I didn't whatever that's beside the point why I put it in but I put in this extra submersible light I had and then the Hydra popped up so I think the hydra spores were living on that uh, submersible light. So just, just a warning to you guys, if you're moving stuff between tanks and you had a tank, cause I did have hydra in the hidden cavern when I first got the Rotella. It's not a big deal, I treated it. It was not an issue. We don't make mistakes. We just have happy accidents. But something clearly, it ended up in there. Maybe, I think I had the submer that submersible light in the hidden cavern tank for like a week or two. And maybe I took it out before the treatment. Like I have no idea. So there might've been hydrospores on that submersible light that once it was put in that tank, they exploded into actual hydra. So I got footage of the hydra last night. <laughs> So I'll pop that on the screen now for you so I can just show you how to identify Hydra, what it looks like. It's actually really, really obvious. It's gonna be on your hardscapes, on your plants. It's, a, you'll see, you'll see. So I have actually gone over Hydra in a past video, my aquarium microfauna video. A lot of you guys have already uh, seen that. Thank you very much for checking that out. But Hydra is actually a plant. It's not an animal. That's why I said Hydra spores. This thing, it, it reproduces asexually. It's a very weird microorganism in our tanks. As you can tell, they have these long tentacle things and then like a body section. The body section is what actually attaches itself to your hardscapes, to your plants, to your glass. When I noticed it in the tank, it was literally on everything. It was on the light, it was on the glass, it was on the subwasser tank, as you can see. So the tentacles are the dangerous part of this thing. They actually have stingers. They kind of just wave themselves in the water until something passes by and then they'll sting it, they'll paralyze it, and they bring it in and they, they eat it. Kind of like, you know, a Venus flytrap or something like that. It's a, it's a carnivorous plant that I don't want in my shrimp tanks. So if you have fish, these things actually aren't a big deal at all. Your fish will actually actually eat them, uh, well, depending on the fish. Certain types of fish will actually pick them off the glass and stuff and eat them. But as shrimp keepers, these are not something you want in your tank. And do not try to manually remove these. If you scrape it off the glass, like, and you remove the, the thing, it, it's weird, kind of like planaria, like you're not gonna remove it manually. You need to chemically kill this stuff. He tried burying it, shredding it, and burning it. Okay, so now that we know what it looks like, how to identify it, where it uh, grows, and apparently how it goes from tank to tank, let's talk about treatment. The treatment for it is actually the same as planaria. So you're going to use something like no planaria, or I use fenbendazole. This is the brand I use, the ProSense Safeguard 4, just to give you an idea, you know, fenbendazole. Basically anything that's 22.2% fenbendazole you can use. So Panicure C, there's some other brands of things. Um, and there are some other medications you can use as well. Maybe I'll, I'll toss the list. I'll do, I'll actually do some research, toss the list up here on the screen of other medications you can use to remove planaria and therefore hydra from your tank. Now I actually have an entire video 
already with dosing fenbendazole. So I'll just throw the card up here. I'm going to use this finger. Uh, click that if you want to check out how to dose fenbendazole in your nano tanks. Very, very simple. You're going to need a uh, scale. So I use something like this. One of the commenters happily pointed out this is a Coke Bruh. scale. <clears throat> but yeah, it's great for micro tank, nano tank measurements of medications and things like that, because it is this is accurate to three decimal places. So with Hydra, you can just half dose this stuff. You're going to be dosing for every 10 gallons, 0 0.05 grams. So this tank here is actually only a three gallon tank. So I only dosed, I mean, I rounded up, I went 0 0.2 grams. That way it actually, you know, killed the Hydra. So let's take a look at Hydra after day two as it's dying, basically. I am gonna keep an eye on it and you may have to do a second dose with Hydra, but a third dose shouldn't be necessary. And of course, do your regular water changes. So let's take a look, see if we can find some dying Hydra. So as I stated earlier, when I first saw this last night, it was everywhere, all over the tank, all over the plants, all over the scape. But now I can only find this one little chunk on the thermometer here. And as you can see, it's kind of melting away. It's pretty cool, actually, if you, if you ask me. So those long tentacles are being melted away. The body's kind of getting smaller. And yeah, it just, it just kind of melts and disappears. It's really kind of cool to watch. I, I watched this over like a, so obviously I didn't watch it overnight, but when I came in in the morning, I saw it and the tentacles were a little bit longer than this and throughout the day they disappeared. And by the end of the day, this thing was uh, completely gone. The Hydra was totally gone. I was as proud as an old mother hen. So as you can tell, the fenbendazole treatment is super effective. <laughs> like it, it hasn't even been, I think it maybe it's been 12 hours at this point and I could only find that one hydra left where last night I saw like, I don't know, 20. There were too many to take the picture. I was, I was so frustrated last night. I just bombed the tank with the fenbendazole and they've melted back to what you see there. I can only see the one on the thermometer. I think the snails come and eat them once they are dead, but I could be wrong on that. But either way, they're going away. My shrimp are safe. I hope this video helps you. If you uh, end up getting Hydra in your tank, you can uh, treat them quickly like I did. You can do it. Things like this are why it is a great reason to have medications like fenbendazole on hand at all times. I always have fenbendazole, I always have H2O2, and recently I just picked up uh, stability to have, oh, and Prime, Prime is a, some dechlorinator is necessary, obviously. So thank you as always so much for watching, for making it all the way to the end. Really, really helps out the channel. I'm opening up applications for the end of the video club again this week. My God, okay, it's happening. So just comment, I hate Hydra, and I'll add you to the list, the wonderful list, the end of the video list. These people are awesome. They watch to the end, they comment. A couple of them are real hardcore fans. Big shout out to everyone who's, there's a bunch of you guys going back watching my older videos. It is so great to see that. And that's the truth. I'm glad you're enjoying them. Some of my older stuff's a little rough. Some of this stuff's a little rough. I'm not the best at this, if you haven't been able to tell. <laughs> uh, but I try and I have fun. So that's all that really matters, right? Uh, like, subscribe, leave that secret comment below. Something else, some other things, bell notification, I guess. And keep your shrimp hand strong. Till next time, bye-bye now. Welcome back to Bob Moss Nano Tanks. Today, my trouble is gonna be, wait. Welcome back to Bob Moss Nano Tanks. Today, my problems are going to be your benefit. My troubles? So last night, yesterday, the day before officially filming this, I'll toss the date up, no. I haven't got new plants. I haven't got new, my God. All oh, these cables, whatever, fire off. Where's my fucking scale? So I use some, some, motherfucker. So thank you so much for watching. I'm opening up the applications for the end of the video club again here. Just write Hydra sucks. Or what's something better? Hydra hates. Hydra hates. Fuck, what's my comment gonna be? Uh. <laughs>